Matrix M-Track theft recovery operation. It's Friday the 30th of August 2019. So we've taken a phone call this afternoon from a hire car company. We've had a Range Rover SVR 2019 model stolen. It's a blue vehicle, probably worth about 100, 120 grand. Um, apparently it was stolen around 3 o'clock in the morning according to the person who was hiring the car. So it's taken from the Belgravia area near Buckingham Palace up round uh, Hyde Park and then travelled across over towards Wembley and was parked up at that location but it did spend two hours stationary. We've decided to uh, send our finder which is probably only about 15 minutes from Wembley to that location, Danny. Uh, to go to the vehicle with another person and block the vehicle in so, so no one can take it and then um, get the hire car company to come and collect the vehicle with another couple of drivers like, like a snatchback um, using the spare key uh, now what we do know is I've heard from the customer that the, the, cus the end customer still got the key which means it is a keyless theft of some description um, which is quite unusual because we thought 2019 Range Rovers had been sorted uh, we know it's parked in this sort of uh, cul-de-sac looks like quite a sort of normal place where you might stash a car to cool down that's when we're close there so we're just waiting now to see if the uh, finder to arrive on site and confirm the vehicles in location we're on our way to uh, Sudbury to have a look at a or try to find a Range Rover that's been stolen from one of our hire companies we should be locating in about 15 to 20 minutes time Right, we're taking a video of the area where the car's parked. We're just going to do a quick swoop on the area. There is uh, an alleyway to going out onto another road, a cul-de-sac, and this is the main road coming in. Taking the ECU out. Yeah, they've got into the book of the car and tried to find the tracker unit. Yeah, can't find that. But what they've done, they've, uh, they've uh, what's his name? Muller they tried to, yeah, well, they've nicked a load of stuff out of the car. Uh, they tried to take the panels out. Then, uh, what are you going to need a transport when they come down now then? Yeah, yeah, I think Pat's speaking to Ivan now to find out what he wants to do. I'm oh, just wondering, can't you get one of your transporters down? As far as I'm concerned, if they can't get anything down there, then then you you can order a recovery truck. Three of the car, the damage that they've done, looking for the tracker units, but at this time they haven't found no tracker units in this vehicle. We'll show you the damage they've done. the dashboard down and in the rear of the vehicle down the door panels under the seats in the door trims and in the back of the rest of the part of the vehicle and, uh, they're now waiting for the recovery truck to come and take the car away Okay, so that and the reason the recovery truck's coming is because the spare key won't start the car. Correct. They've mobilised the car with what they've done to get the car going. Put their own uh, locking device in yeah. the uh, in yeah. the ECU. All right. So that it had the original plates on it. You you said yeah. Yeah, it's still got the original plates on the car. There's no damage of outside the car. No, it's just inside. Uh, there's damage inside the car when it tried to locate You've not... the, the truck unit. You've not seen any suspicious characters or anyone hanging around the area? To find this little dead-end road, they 
must know the area very well. Oh yeah, it's clearly a targeted cooling down spot, I'd say. That like that yeah. like that um parking area there that I can see on the yeah, screen. Yeah, this house is looking out on the car park where the car is. Yeah. So they could be looking at us at this present time through oh. the back windows. Oh, right. So, yeah, it could actually be a local round there. So, how many of you on site? There's three of you on site at the moment still. There's three of us on site. Yeah. Pat and Steve are still waiting. Uh, okay. They're going to wait until we find out what time the recovery truck is coming, and then they're going to go. Uh, but we still got to ask them what the car Brilliant. Is. Seems like you've got it all in hand. If you need any more yeah. help, give us a shout, okay? Oh, no, we'll, no, we'll keep you in touch and let you know what's happening. I'll give you an update in about 15 to 20 minutes when I find out how long the recovery truck is going to be. Thanks, Danny. Thanks for your help. Cheers. No Cheers. Bye -bye. We just had a call from the recovery company to say they'd be with us in 15 minutes to return the Range Rover back to the hire company.